Hey Gemini, welcome to my channel. This is Chelsea. Thank you so much for liking and subscribing. I really appreciate your love and support and I hope all is well with everyone. Today we are going to find out some important love messages for you. This is a general reading and may not apply to each and every one of you. All right, Gemini, spirits and angels, please show me important accurate love messages for Gemini today. Show me more. Gemini, please bear in mind that roles can be reversed in this reading. Could either be you or the person whom you are thinking about or dealing with. Somebody here is waiting, either to see some results or waiting for somebody here. Um, also, there is a sense of uh, four pentacles here, waiting and also holding back or holding on. Still hold, could still be holding on to this connection. Hence, this person could be waiting. Could be you or your person. But in the meantime, five of wands here in reverse can indicate somebody is avoiding any sorts of drama. Mm, or it's not fighting for this connection, but just sitting there, standing there and wait. And this one also sitting there and holding on to themselves, their own thoughts, and not actually being open, okay, in regards to speaking out or taking any actions. So we've got the Nine of Swords here, Gemini. Uh, you could be um, dealing with any sign I'm seeing Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. Um, could be somebody like you are as well. Your energy is here, Gemini, uh, Libra, and Aquarius. So there's an energy of somebody just really feeling really, really stressed out, thinking a lot. Because perhaps Ace of Swords here is in reverse. Either decision that hasn't been made yet, or there's no clear communication or no communication between the two of you. And Nine of Wands here in reverse may indicate some sort of instability. Um, also, there's an energy of either somebody regretting over lies that they could have told or somebody has cut somebody off and crying over somebody lying here, okay? Or not not speaking the truth or not telling everything or not or no communication. But the nine of wands in reverse also can indicate like a bit of a player energy. If it's not that, it just feels unstable or that there's no forward movement. Nobody's taking any actions towards... Um, this connection, okay? Two of Wands here is in reverse. This may indicate a choice that somebody may have made that could have caused a lot of pain and sufferings, also caused an ending, okay? And also we've got the Four of Wands here in reverse. Again, this may either indicate a separation or instability within the connection. The foundation itself of this connection uh, was at one point in time stable, but something may have happened. Hmm that again could have caused this ending separation. However, it feels like, because these are minor arcana, so it feels a bit like a, a temporary setback for some of you, but the judgment is right here. For me, this may indicate also somebody may be facing their karma with the high priestess here, but not actually saying it but wanting to offer love to you or you wanting to offer love to somebody. Again, the High Priestess and the Ace of Swords here, this could indicate no speaking or no communication or no clear communication, okay? Spirits is also telling you that to tune into your intuition, most likely it's correct because the High Priestess is sitting in an upright position. Judgment may also indicate somebody wanting to hash things out, okay? Wanting to tell you actually that they do love you or that maybe it's you wanting to tell somebody that you do love them but still keeping it really quietly or uh, someone is still waiting, okay, for that to happen. Someone could be waiting for a reconciliation or somebody is waiting for somebody to reach out or communicate. So we've got the Chariot in reverse, Queen of Cups in reverse and the Three of Wands. For some of you, three of wands may indicate a third party, external factors, internal factors, or it could be a love triangle uh, that could have caused the separation of this connection. However, with the king of pentacles here in reverse, either there, uh, some of you or some of them, okay? This is just really, really, for a really small group of you, Gemini, it feels like king of pentacles in reverse and the ten of pentacles in reverse can indicate some financial issues. If it's not financial issues, King of Pentacles in reverse also can indicate a king. Doesn't matter king or queen, it's not gender specific, but an energy of somebody unable to support or is unreliable or is not loyal. 
And also we've got the, again, Ten of Pentacles here in reverse. This may indicate a separation or well, somebody. You've got two tens here, actually. One in reverse, one in upright. Someone could be feeling like it's so hard to reach the Ten of Pentacles here. It's so hard to either provide or it's so hard to commit whether it's you or your person. And we've got the chariot in reverse, queen of cups in reverse, three of wands. However, somebody is still waiting, okay? Waiting for some forward movement again. And also queen of cups here. Someone may have retrieved their cup of love, keeping silent and silently also suffering here with the ten of swords here. Not taking any actions, don't want to cause any more drama or don't want to argue anymore a bit of a giving up energy but at the same time it's almost like there is an energy of someone here feeling like if i leave them alone for a while if you know maybe maybe they're gonna realize what they've lost that's what i'm getting here perhaps somebody is also realizing that they have lost somebody here could be you or your person okay let's see more so you've got the Empress here, Spirit's definitely saying to know your worth, your value, and be strong. Because the Strength card just could simply indicate being strong. And Strength card could also indicate patience, dealing with the situation uh, tactfully, delicately, tread carefully. But some Strength could also indicate somebody holding back, right? So someone could be holding back from speaking because they are hurt. And somebody could be holding back from nurturing this connection because they are hurt. Same thing. So Nine of Cups is here. Also, this may indicate a lot of choices, a lot of options for you guys, Gemini. Some of you spirits definitely trying to tell you that you have a lot of options, okay? Hold back. Know your strength. Know your value. Know your worth. And make a, make a decision, okay? Make a decision based on somebody who could give you stability here, King of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles here in reverse. It feels like there is no point for a connection to invest in any connection that doesn't that you don't actually see a future in. A bit of a waste wasting time and waste uh, time wasted and even money, okay? Time and money and effort being wasted. That's what I'm getting here. Somebody could be feeling this way right now, okay? Page of Wands here is in love verse. Hmm. Again, someone is hesitating to, to either send a message or to talk or to reach out to extend an olive branch here. But there is a lot of waiting game here. Some of you could be both of you also waiting for each other. Some of you is just one of you waiting for the other. Hmm. But judgment here could also indicate that, you know, if you're being patient, if you're practicing patience, that, you know, whatever that's, um, whatever that's supposed to happen will happen, okay? All right, Gemini, this is your reading. Hope you resonated. If you did, please hit like, share, and subscribe. I am going to leave you with a playlist on the screen right now. That's the playlist from my second vlog channel. It's a travel vlog channel. If you're interested, check it out. I'm going to be posting my birthday celebration video pretty soon if you would like to check it out. If not, it's fine too. Gemini, um, I post your videos almost every single day, however, at different timing. If you'd like to be notified every time when I post your videos, don't forget to hit on the bell notification button. And also, you can now follow me on my Instagram. It's Chelsea Love Tarot. All right, take care, Gemini. Bye.